tonight I want to talk to you out of John 14, 26. This is a, a continuation of talking about the Holy Spirit. John 14, 26 says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to you your remembrance, all that I have said. We've already studied that that the Holy Spirit is a teacher. But the Holy Spirit has the power to bring to remembrance the words of Christ. This, this was a promise made primarily to the apostles. And it is a guarantee of the accuracy of their report of what Jesus said. But the Holy Spirit does a similar work in each of us, in each believer who expects it of him and looks to him to do it. He brings to mind the teachings of Christ and the words of Christ just when we need them for the necessities of either our life or our service. How many of us could tell of occasions when we were in great distress of soul, in great questioning concerning our duty, or in great extremity as to what to say to someone who we are trying to lead to Christ, or trying to help, and then just out of the blue, the scripture we needed, some passage that we'd not even thought of for a long time, and perhaps never even thought of in connection with what was going on, was brought to mind. It is the Holy Spirit that did that. And he is ready to do that even more when we expect it of him. In the next verse, after making this promise, Jesus says, Peace. I leave with you. My peace I give you. Look to the Holy Spirit to bring the right words to remembrance at the right time, and you will have peace. This is the way to remember Scripture, just when you need it, and just the Scripture you need. It is a great relief. It is a great freedom to know and to believe that we don't have to have everything planned out, that every verse and every, we, we don't have to do that because we have the, the living Holy Spirit in us. And it is his desire, it is his desire for us to represent Christ with the fullness of knowledge of the scriptures. So, be free from worry about trying to witness to someone or trying to, to say the right thing at the wrong at the wrong time or say the wrong thing at the right time and then to be be in the place that God wants us to be in the center of his will. All of those things that, that dis disturb our peace are not things that the Holy Spirit wants us to experience. The Holy Spirit will bring the words. The Holy Spirit will guide your steps. And we can walk in peace knowing that he will reveal and bring to remembrance the words and the deeds of Christ. Be blessed today in Jesus' name.